Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. Welcome back to the channel. So I've got a really quick video for you guys today. Uh, over the years, I've had a lot of people ask me how well Windows, Microsoft's Windows Magnifier works with a dual monitor setup. Well, I currently, for a short time anyways, have a dual monitor setup going on. So I thought I would show you guys. All right, so I'm gonna do my best to record both of these screens so you guys can see what's happening. Uh, keep in mind that I'm really far away from them, <laughs> so I can't see them really well. I may need to lean in and my big head might block your view for a few seconds. But right now I have, uh, what the setup I've got going is, I'm in the process of testing out the new Microsoft Surface Studio here. This is a touch screen. You can see me move this guy around. But I also have my normal 1080p Samsung 32-inch uh, monitor. The aspect ratio is different on this Surface Studio computer. Uh, the I think it's a 4x3 aspect ratio while, while the Samsung is a 16x9. I have, this is also, I believe, 8K monitor. Uh, Samsung is only 1080p, so I have lowered the resolution on this Surface monitor to match that of the Samsung monitor. That's why it has these black bars at the top and the bottom. So just to explain that, we're going to talk a little bit about resolution here in a minute and why that's important. But as far as the dual monitor setup, it works just like a regular dual monitor where I can move this window wherever I want to. It's just like having a large monitor. I can also have two windows, put them on the same side or have them on each side. It's just a regular dual monitor setup. Everybody should be familiar with that. But how does it work with magnification? So when I zoom in on this, you see that it zooms in just like normal. I can zoom in, but you see what's happening over here. Because a dual monitor setup just acts like one large monitor, when I zoom in here on monitor number one, we get some overlapping onto screen number two. And as I look around here on monitor number one with my mouse, you see that it overlaps on monitor number two because as I said, it's just acting as one large monitor. So if I put my mouse over here onto monitor number two and I zoom in on monitor number two, it overlaps onto monitor number one as I pan around monitor number two, depending on how far in I'm zoomed. So that is how the basic magnifier, Windows magnifier on a dual monitor setup works. And it works fine. I mean, as long as you take into account this overlapping here, um, I can zoom in on this side on monitor number two and do whatever I need to, zoom in, interact with it. If I want to interact with the window that's currently sitting on monitor number one and I'm zoomed in, I just, slide all the way over and now I'm over on monitor number one and interacting with this window that I have open. So it all works really perfectly fine, perfectly well. You just have to kind of keep that in your mind that you're not actually using two monitors, you're, you're using one large monitor. And so when you zoom in, you're gonna get some overlapping on the other monitor. Now, one thing I did want to point out here, and I'm gonna zoom in on monitor number one. I'm in my display settings, and this is where you set up the dual monitor and which uh, monitor here you want to be number one, and if you wanna be which side you want it to be on, that sort of thing. If you want a perfectly smooth dual monitor setup that functions properly and it's, and it's a true extended large monitor, then you want to match the resolutions. And in order to do that, you just highlight the monitor that you want to adjust, and then you come down and you adjust the uh, things like resolution, uh, change the size of things, these need to match. So for example, if I put this to 200, as it's recommended, 
even though both monitors have the same resolution set, so it looks like everything should work fine, the zoom or the item size or the size of the elements on monitor one is larger than the size of the elements on monitor two. So you see if I have this window over here that's nice and small and fits nicely on the screen, but I drag it over here, bam, it instantly increased in size and it fills up this whole space. So it's something to keep note of. If you have your sizing set differently on each window, each monitor, you're going to run into issues like that. Okay, I set it back to normal, so now it flows nicely between the two windows, the two monitors. So now when it comes to resolution, I've set this first monitor one to its native resolution, which is 4500 by 3000, while monitor two is still set to 1080p, which is its native resolution. So when I look at my little display here, a little visual indicator of the two monitors, monitor one is huge compared to monitor two. And so where that's going to cause us some issues is when dragging, oops, didn't get it. And when I do drag it over, you see that it changes sizes dramatically. So you can totally do this. I mean, it works, but it's going to cause some issues it would be very difficult in my opinion to work like this mainly because when I zoom in here I mean look at the difference the two windows are just behaving separately it's no longer like one giant monitor it's def clearly two monitors that trying to work together but you're having all kinds of issues so very simple just make sure that these are set to the same resolution and the same uh, scaling. That's what I was trying to come up with earlier. Oh, and then whenever you change the resolution, these are not placed in the right position usually. So you just kind of want to place it in the right position and then click apply. Now, where's my pointer? There it is. Now they work like one nice symbiotic monitor. Even when zoomed in, I can switch between the two. So that's it guys. That's how Windows Magnifier works between two monitors in a dual monitor setup. Uh, obviously, if you had more, four monitors connected, it's gonna be exactly the same. The key is just to make sure that all monitors are set to the same resolution and the same scaling. That's what's gonna give you the most seamless uh, experience. You don't have to, of course, but you're gonna run into some issues that you're gonna have to kind of work with. I hope that helps. Thanks guys, Sam with The Blind Life. Let me know if you have any questions. See you next time.